The healing power of music cannot be overstated during this pandemic. Individually and collectively, musicians are hosting virtual concerts. Also making music are hundreds of students from across Wisconsin, led by a local choir director and composer, using his skills as a music arranger to provide a positive shared experience and lasting memory for young people who've had to sacrifice so much during this semester. Here's Michael Schlesinger. The song is called I Have Had Singing. The words come from English author Ronald Blythe and center around rural life throughout the 20th century. Choir director from Waukesha West High School, Zach Moore, first heard this piece as a youngster growing up in Eau Claire, and it's stuck with him ever since. The melody, the tempo. Now you might say it's come full circle. singing and you write this for them is kind of a, a thank you to the community for what they gave me and so wrote that piece ironically UW Eau Claire also commissioned me at the same time to write a piece for their concert choir and as well as one of the churches in the community also uh, asked me to write for them and so it was just this, it was just this huge like return to home feeling for me. When the pandemic hit a few months ago, it basically halted so much in our world, including where Moore teaches. I remember specifically a junior coming up to me, not saying anything, just her face beat red and just just a waterfall of tears. And just the type of thing that just breaks my heart uh, as an educator. So he knew he owed it to himself, his student body, and so many others to do something positive. I wanted to keep singing alive and to give hope, I guess, to others. I think in times of, of peril, music is something that can always be there. And I wanted to show, especially young adolescents that, that over dramatize everything, that even though we're apart, that we can still be together virtually. You heard it right, a new kind of reality, a virtual choir sung by a thousand young adults from more than 30 middle and high schools all across Wisconsin and they're singing the song he loves, of all things, under his direction. When I am using a student from Eau Claire, Wisconsin, singing a soprano part, and I line up a track with a student from Waterford, Wisconsin, and they line up perfectly. And they don't realize it, but somewhere, someone saying the exact same thing as they did almost to the T, and, and, and there's something to be hauntingly said there about how we're all still connected in all this, and it really is beautiful. While he's confined to his house during the pandemic, this instructor is using his time putting all those voices together with his Apple logic system in a rather intricate way. Each voice takes about five to seven minutes for me to uh, make sure the consonances are lining up, make sure that the cutoffs are happening at the same time. He tells me he's done a little tinkering with the reverberation and equalizer. I've only embellished enough to make it hopefully sound natural to what a choral sound should be and warm. Seeing how each singer recorded his or her version on either a cell phone or iPad, you have to admit what's been created is nothing really short of amazing. And while there have been some issues, the challenges were staying in tune. The result is a two minute song sung in acapella, ending up on YouTube with sounds echoing for all to hear and even feel. Singing is out of this world in a psychological and physical type of way. I don't know how to explain it. Some people get shivers from music and all that when they're listening to specific moments that hit them the right way. It's that combination of the shared human experience, I think, with the sinking of the heartbeats that you feel like you're part of something bigger. Mm -hmm. 